What in the wide world of Equestria did I just watch? That... Mm. That was weird. That was Lesson Zero on crack. I, I, I think maybe Twilight needs to uh, maybe not take quite such a step back. Yeah, once you step back and let uh, Starlight figure out her own problems, things worked out really, really well in the Crystal Empire, but that was someone she had already been friends with once upon a time. I think the problem in Ponyville is that Starlight's still learning how to make friends. And if you think of friendship as a scale, you know, and here's zero. That's about where Twilight was when, when the series started. And she has slowly progressed from there to here. But when she started at zero, she very quickly made six friends who were just really, really helpful. When Starlight Glimmer started, on the other hand, she was back here enslaving an entire town. And even though she's made some new friends, I don't think she's quite made it to zero yet. Because she, it's still a foreign concept in the end. Interacting with ponies isn't a foreign concept, but friendship is. Because when faced with needing to do something to be friends with someone, she focuses on the action, not the interaction. Um, it's actually a little bit like the CMC. They have the same problem when trying to deal with cutie marks. They're focusing on the, the obvious actionable talents and not the, not the, uh, thank you, computer. That was lovely. <sighs> Not the, uh... Word. Words not work this morning! Yay! Um... Not the... The overall effect. So, like, if someone has multiple talents... They are looking at the tangible rather than the intangible. Which is why they themselves took... What, three years or so to get their cutie marks? But, that's beside the point, and something that was covered in a previous video anyway. Starlight, as Spike kept trying to point out, is just completely missing the point. And it's because, um, I think friendship is a bit of a foreign concept. She doesn't understand that the idea of hanging out is not to accomplish a task, but to spend time with a person to interact to enjoy the presence that they are and that that really kind of puts her way back i mean twilight understood the point in episode one. She just thought it was stupid. Um, whereas Starlight inexplicably understands the importance of it, probably because she hangs out with Twilight, but the actual concept of it still eludes her. Though she does seem to be making great strides. Um, kind of want to see where this goes in the end, but... 
I think they've left Starlight out of this season a little bit too much to become really emotionally invested in her progress with Twilight. Which is too bad. I mean, we've had, what, very little sign of her since Trixie. So that's what, three Starlight Glimmer episodes this entire season? And given the plot of this season's finale, that just seems like a poor choice. But we shall see. Well, go forth, enjoy your day, every pony. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> Have fun. That was. This is kind of a mind-blown episode, not because it's incredible, but just because it was... Uh huh? Later.